Parliament has passed the Insurance Amendment Bill to allow a company an extension of time to submit its annual accounts for a period permitted by the Registrar in the case of a state of emergency or disaster. Prime Minister and Minister for Finance, Economic Development and the Youth Economy, Honorable Philip J. Pierre, piloted the bill during the first sitting of the House of Assembly for 2022 on 1st February. Honorable Pierre told the House that the amendment would better facilitate and support businesses during crises and called upon the public to insure their properties. I really want to urge people to ens ensure that the, the insurance, the insure their houses, Mr. Speaker, because it's important now um, that people insure their houses because of the changes in climate change, etc and that the value of the insurance is up is can is similar or the value of the insurance they take mr speaker is in line with the value of the house because many times you find people are underinsured and when the time comes they do not get the return if something happens mr. and also i want to urge people also to read carefully the the terms and conditions of the insurance policies read carefully because there are several circumstances where people believe that they are insured for certain things and when claims are made the insurance company finds a reason why they should not they should not i mean <laughs> the insurance company finds a way mr speaker finds some clause why they should not pay mr speaker the Prime Minister urged the public to familiarize themselves with their insurance policies and understand the fine print. When you buy an insurance policy, you should always find the details. Make sure that you get the details of the policy. Ask all the questions, Mr. Speaker. And secondly, when insurance companies do not fulfill the obligations of their insurance contracts, there ought to be a there ought to be a way where they are they are brought to to speed for that sort of non-compliance, Mr. Speaker. But I also hope that insurance companies can see that the government is making compliance a little more, a little easier for them because of circumstances. But I also hope that they meet their obligations to their policyholders, and many times that does not happen. Prime Minister Honorable Philip J. Pierre. The insurance amendment bill was passed in the Upper House, the Senate, on Friday, 4th February 2022.